Pete's here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom icons for your custom attachments. So, what you're going to want to do is, you need an image. So, whatever it is that you're making, like, either a pouch or anything, um, you can open it up in your bulldozer. Line it up. Here, I'll open up this image of this door that I made for somebody, but... You can line it up in your viewer, bulldozer. Once you get it kind of looking squared of how you'd want it looking in the picture for the icon, then you would scrap a, snap a um, screenshot of it. Open it in GIMP. Try to remove the background here with your tools. So uh, I'm going to try maybe fuzzy select. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but... Um, there are better ways of doing this, but I haven't found, well, there may be, but I haven't really found a better way. But you're going to want to, like, just select each color. There we go. Zooming in helps better. All right, now that you have the, the background kind of selected, you're going to want to add the alpha layer if it's not already added. Erase the background. Now you'll see you're going to have to touch it up here and there, but you're not really going to have to do anything. Just, you should edit that. But you're going to want to get it all there. Just like that. Don't worry about the top part. Uh, unselect it. This top part you don't have to worry about because you can just use that tool up here. Crop tool. Crop it, and there you go. And then you're just going to go and color it to saturate it. So it's just black and white. And then you just mess with the brightness. So it's bright white. Um, it's it, This is a door, so it's obviously not the best. The best thing, but that's how you would do something for your icon. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to use my logo, and I'm making it black and white. I want it to have detail, so I'm getting rid of the black. So you want to be able to tell what it is. So let me get select just the black. And then I'm going to do this. And then get it all bright white. And now you're going to want to take the image size, so scale image. And I'm going to go with 170 pixels. I found that to be the best idea. It's going to look really small, but whatever. Let's port it as. I'm going to stick it in my pictures, and I'm just going to call it sample score icon dot png first <laughs> once you have that and your image is done close now you're going to create your file so in your mod file add a folder underneath your data and you'll have probably have a scripts folder in here too call it gui inside there create an image sets and this config is a simple little Sample GUI is what I have. That's all that config is. Again, um, like all my other videos, this file will be in the description. So once you have that image sets, now inside here, it's going to be an empty folder, obviously. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that folder. So we're going to bring up Daisy Tools, which I already have. Watch here, text view. Take your image that you just made. You're going to open it in your text viewer. Save it as. And I'm going to put it in GUI, image sets, and my mod folder. Save type as. You're going to put that all files and then dot T. 
PGA. Um, this is going to be kind of like the load screen, how we did the load screens. Now that you have that, you're going to bring up Workbench. Now we wait for this. Okay. Now, you're going to bring that image from your P drive into Workbench. Slide it over to EDDS. It's going to convert it. So now you'll see it. It looks a little weird, but it's fine. Now that that's there, you have the EDDS. You can right click on it and open file location. And you'll see the EDDS. You can copy that out and put that in with your in your image sets folder and your GUI folder and your P drive. And you can delete the TGA folder, keep in the EDDS. And then, now you're going to go and right click anywhere under EDDS, or anywhere, I guess it don't matter. New GUI Atlas file of GUI images. And you can call this sample icon or whatever you guys want to call it. Icon. Spell it right, tweets. There we go. So now it's got, just, you'll see just a blade square. You're going to start an image set. You're going to click on add, current directory, data, and then find your EDDS. Hit OK. Now that that's added, you're going to go to quads. You'll see your image there. You're going to hit add. And then call the image whatever. So, like, if this is um, going to be, like, I don't know, a pouch, you can call it a pouch. But I'm just going to go sample icon. But you can, like, pouch, whatever it is going to be. Just call it that. And now you'll see you got a square. You'll drag, click and drag that over your icon till it's centered. Let go. You'll see that it added the X, W, Y, and H. And then you're just gonna go up to workbench and hit save. Now, if you're doing something, you want to make multiple icons instead of just one. You're gonna do the you're going to have them all on your one picture. So, say you're doing multiple. You just bring up your GIMP here again. You're going to want to just, I'll just change the canvas size a little bit. And you can add multiple into it. So, I would just copy this just for sample, but you would add all into one picture. Oops, don't want that. See how I did that there? And then you can just keep going all around, like just keep adding, and then that's it. And then you would do the same thing, convert that as a TGA, then um, bring it on work, workbench and bring it EDDS, and then you would just slide over each one. You'll add, so like this is a pouch, and then boom, you did it, and then hit add. And then you'll do another add and say um, holster or whatnot, and then you'll hit OK, and then it'll bring up another one, different color, and then you slide it over that, and then boom. Um, I'm going to delete that for now. But once you have all that set up and you've gone through all your icons, you're just going to hit save. And then you can see where the sample icon image set is. Open file location. You right click on it and you'll see that it auto, oh, that's the meta. It auto generate what you need the config to be. So it auto generates the size, the, the, um, 
class names, the uh, position, which is perfect. So then you'll take that and you'll copy that out of here, bring it into your P drive, GUI, image set, and you'll paste it in here. Now you're going to open it and you're going to give it the correct path keeping these numbers here. You don't want to lose that. So all you're going to do is just change that path and give it the proper path. So you're going to just copy your path to your image set and replace it. And now you're going to change these slashes to forward slashes instead of back slashes. And then you'll see that's it. You'll just save it. Now, once you have that saved, say your container or whatnot, um, for testing purposes, I just took a vanilla barrel and added an attachment slot. So I just put sample slot. So in your slot config, you'll have the, the slot, which is sample slot, which is the same for the attachment. But for the icon, you'll have set, and then you'll see up here, well, this is supposed to say sample icon. I forgot to change that. So in Workbench, this here, when you hit image, well, change, you can change that right there. Actually, you didn't need to see the image set name, change that to sample icon, but you can just do it in here too. And then, that's what it should have been. Okay. Now, you'll see, so set would be the top. And you would have it there. Image would be right here, name. Whatever, it, when it generates. And then you'd have that. And then you'd save it. And then in your config, your main... CFG mods config, you're going to want to add right where your scripts are. You have the defs, you know, your world script. You're going to add this spot right here for image sets, giving it the path to your image sets config right there. That path right there. That's pretty much it. And then you pack it with your PBO project. And then you test it in game. Then when you get in game, you'll see you've got a custom icon. And that's it. And that'll be it's it's not that hard. If you have any questions, you can uh, join my Discord and that'll be linked below along with this file for you can use as an example. And yeah, have fun and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.